Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Audio Addiction, where you can find band interviews, you can find album reviews, and you can also find live episodes every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'd love to talk with you guys, um, hang out in the chat with us. Also, make sure to subscribe and make sure to like this video if you like what the content I'm putting out. Um, but again, I'm getting away from myself tonight. We're going to be talking about uh, I See Star's fifth studio album it is called treehouse and um you know as with any band ic stars has seen their fair share of um you know lineup changes over the years uh first being with uh 3d where um they lost their um one of their band members chris moore who did most of the screams and i think synthesizers if i'm not mistaken and so he left obviously and then they got zach and they got jimmy um but in their most recent album, New Demons, obviously they did, you know, they did the remix album as well as the acoustic album for um, New Demons. And during that time, Zach, you know, had had a baby and uh, Jim, Jimmy, I don't know what particularly happened to him, but he just decided to not join Icy Star still. And so basically Zach kind of was sidelined because, you know, he had a kid to raise and, you know, make sure he was taking care of his I think fiance at the time or something like that I'm not entirely sure but um he couldn't you know obviously fulfill his duties in IC stars and so you know they felt that was best that he was you know just finished with you know the band at that point and so you know because of that that kind of left a rift in between the entire band being that you know they lost their screamer and one of their guitar players so um, Brent took over all of the guitar duties on this album, Treehouse, and Devin took over, uh, the unclean vocals along with, you know, obviously keeping with the cleans, and, um, his brother Andrew actually did most of the synthesizers and, like, programming, stuff like that for this record, as well as doing backup vocals, I think, more, more or less live, obviously, than in the studio, and for drums, they had a special guest that, who, who did all of the drums, and, you know, obviously we all know him from The Word Alive, and uh, that is Luke Holland, obviously, if you are not familiar with that band. Um, he did the drums for the entire IC Stars album, and I thought it was great. I mean, you know, I came into this album thinking with mixed reviews because I have I always liked New Demons. I, in fact, I feel like New Demons was their best record to date, um, obviously being more recent, and that one just had... The best mix of you know like heavy guitar tracks as well as you know some electronic elements that they're known for so um i was curious to see how this record sounded and i obviously wanted to do a review on it because obviously i'm doing a review on it um but i just wanted to see how it was in comparison to new demons i know a lot of people weren't happy with um the sound direction that they went in with for this record but you know i'm i'm pretty open-minded and you know even though i do Hot, hold um new demons on a high pedestal um i still think these tracks especially the, the singles that were released um to me i feel like um they don't represent the whole album as it is like i just feel like each track on this record that obviously was not a single or an awesome track so i'm gonna kind of break down you know track by track um you know what i felt like on each track so basically this album features, you know, 12 tracks, 12 original tracks, um, and the first one being Calm Snow, and I feel like this track starts off great. I mean, I, I've always loved their electronic element. Uh, as I said multiple times, I've, I've really enjoyed their uh, electronic elements in, in this album and, you know, previous albums as well, and um, this track just is a great opener for, for the rest of the album. Obviously, you know, they're taking a different direction because you know, they did lose a member, and, you know, they wanted to kind of experiment, so, I mean, obviously, they haven't totally lost, you know, their eclectic sound, but I feel like, you know, they wanted to push themselves a little bit on this record, because it was, I think it was, like, three years after New Demons, like, the original New Demons, and I'm not talking about, like, the remixed version, or, like, the acoustic version, um, but this is a great track to start off with, you know, Devin's voice is really great. I've always, I've always endured, endeared his voice. Um, but definitely a, a solid track to begin with. Um, it's not as heavy. It's more 
um obviously electronic focused but as well as i think it has more it's more of an alternative rock or like post hardcore kind of vibes to it but i still i still heavily enjoyed this track um i don't think there's any screaming on this track um but it is again an awesome opener um the second track is break and obviously you guys are familiar with it because you know they released a, a music video for this one or not a music video but just an artist representation of you know the song itself and uh that was done by brandon bulmer of uh of ex chiodos and uh yesterday rising i'm pretty sure the band he was in before that but again i'm getting away from myself but um this track is another solid track of um their new record um i think it took a lot of time for me to for this track to grow on me um mob and out and running with scissors obviously we'll get into those a little bit later but i feel like break took the longest to get into like it was very electronic heavy Again, you know, because their main focus is, like, electronic, obviously, with some hard, you know, post-hardcore vibes to them. But, I mean, this track is another super solid track, and I think it's a grower, honestly, because I didn't think I was going to enjoy this track as much as I did. And, you know, listening to the album for, like, a day or so now, um, I've really enjoyed, you know, Break. Um, it's definitely different from everything else. Um, I mean, not different, just... It, there's just something about this track that kind of separates it from the rest of it um but again another super solid track um track number three white lies um also another great track um i'm surprised at how many good tracks came out of this i mean obviously it's not new demons so if you're expecting you know a new demons 2.0 you're not gonna get that um and i don't want to like disappoint you guys but that's that's just the reality of it because, you know, like when you're making music, you want to kind of push yourself into a different direction. And I feel like they kind of took it, you know, obviously in a lighter path, but still, you know, still a solid track um, nonetheless. But I'm getting kind of away from myself. Uh, White Lies, I think they're I think they're going to be streaming the album on Friday. Obviously, it comes out this Friday, June 17th. Um, but uh this was another great track uh i really enjoyed this one probably um i wouldn't say it's up there with some of the top tracks on this record but again it's another super solid track from them and just again it's something different i i feel like you know his screams weren't utilized a lot in this record and i i don't have an issue with that i mean some people might have an issue with it i i personally like his cleans and his screams are not bad as well but i mean to me you know it helps to show like their creative i guess difference for this record is more clean heavy rather than you know um scream heavy so again another really good track um track number four everyone's safe in the treehouse um this is also another really good track um probably along with white lies it's definitely not up there on my favorites for this record per se but again i feel like you know, all the ones that I didn't particularly say that they were bad or anything, um, I would just say that they're grower tracks. I mean, I've only had a few days to listen to these songs, and um, what I think, you know, I still think it will be the same even down the line, you know, even after a few more listens of this record, but um, still super solid tracks, and you should definitely listen to them. Uh, track number five running with scissors obviously this was one of their singles that they released um i think it was like a 3d 360 video or something like that um it was kind of it was kind of uh, crazy actually um but getting back to the song um another solid track i i feel like you know they put out some pretty solid singles um you know and it kind of shows the diversity you know obviously you know their art will be heavy elements to you know some of the out songs on this album but um, I feel like, you know, Running With Scissors highlighted that pretty well, along with Mobbin' Out. Maybe a little less than Mobbin' Out, but I definitely think Running With Scissors kind of elaborated on the, you know, clean. But there are still some screams, and I still think you can get down with it kind of a thing. Um, I, I think it was a great single to release. Um, it definitely shows that, you know, they still want to progress as a band as well as they kind of want to you know branch out and do different things so you know i feel like this is a classic i see stars track 
um definitely one of my favorites um i feel like the chorus has like a super catchy vibe to it so you know i'm super excited on that one uh number six this was the first single that they released uh mobbing out like i said it's another heavier track um i don't feel like it utilizes screams as much as as running with scissors or um um, some of the later tracks on this record but um, it's again it's probably one of the one of my favorites off the record as well and I like that you know they went I guess a little bit more electronic heavy on this on this track um, and taking influences from like trance dubstep you know trap stuff like that so it's really an eclectic mix of you know different electronic music uh, Track number seven, Walking on Gravestones. I would probably say this is my least favorite. Um, it's kind of seems like an interlude to me. Um, not saying that it was bad or anything. I definitely appreciate it for you know it, for its musical value. But to me, um, I feel like this one was the least my least favorite off the record for sure. Um, again, it's I mean again this is all my personal opinion so. You guys can tell me which ones you, are your favorite in the comments section below for sure. Um, but again, kind of getting away from myself. Uh, but probably my least favorite track off the record. But again, um, the instrumentals is just interesting to me. Like I'm, I'm not, I don't really listen to like a lot of EDM. So um, I think it's cool that I, that they're you know adding these sort of elements into the track. I mean, as they have been for quite some time, but. You know, I've always liked that heavier, heavier tracks with the EDM. I just feel like it fits very well together. Um, track number eight, Light in the Cave. Um, obviously, um, this is an, another super solid track. Probably one of my favorites off the record as well. Um, heavy. It's got some heavier parts, you know. But then it's got, you know, Devin's clean vocals. And I feel like, you know, his obviously, you know, is more centered around his clean vocals. But again... I don't have an issue with that. I've always, you know, always endeared his um, clean vocals. So um, it's no surprise to, you know, I see Stars fans, you know, for these types of tracks. This one's just, you know, a classic, you know, heavy track from them, as well as, you know, it's got some lighter moments in it. So um, it's one of my favorites off this record, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but again, that's uh, one that I would recommend listening to. Um Track number nine, All In, is probably the best track off the record. I'm just going to put it at that. Um, you can have your opinions on it. I, I Like I said, mentioned a little bit earlier, um, I've always liked that eclectic mix of, you know, electronic EDM type of music and just heavier things. And I think there's kind of like elements of like, you know, hip hop and like rap a little bit. I don't know if I'm misquoting myself a little bit, but um, it definitely has you know, a jumpy vibe to it, and you can re definitely get down with this track, and hopefully they play it on Warped, because, um, that'd be sick, but, but this one's definitely my favorite track off the record, without a doubt, um, it's a heavy track, and it's got some, you know, jump, vi jumpy vibes to it, you know, make you want to get up and move and stuff, but it's also got, you know, his clean, vo Devin's clean vocals again as well, and, um, again, just a super solid track, um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of mad a little bit. I wish that, you know, I mean, I'm kind of glad that it was on the record, obviously, but I'm kind of mad it wasn't like a single or something because then, you know, if it was like maybe like Running With Scissors, Mobbing Out, and then maybe like either All In or Light In The Cave, you know, for people who are expecting a heavier Icy Stars album, you know, then they can be fulfilled by those. But, um... You know, I'm not going to argue with it. I feel like, you know, the tracks that they released as singles kind of, you know, give a broad spectrum of, you know, how the rest of the album has sounded. So, you know, I feel like it was a good choice again in the end. But, you know, I would have liked a heavier track in, in my opinion. Um, Too, Too Hearted is also another really good track. I'm, I'm really surprised by it. Um, it definitely has more pop vibes to it. Again, it's got, you know... A, a strong hint of uh, EDM, obviously, um, but another solid track. You know, this track is is definitely up there with my favorites as well. Um, in fact, like I I might like it better. I don't know if I like it better than All In. I still think All In's my favorite track off the record, but 
I'd probably put it like probably right after Light in the Cave in terms of you know how I'd rate them. Um, it's just a different track. Um, it's got again, it's got some pop elements, it's got some EDM elements. I don't think there's any screaming on this track, but it just seems this track just seems like different from all the rest of the tracks on the record. And I like the diversity of it. Um, definitely one of my favorites, like I mentioned earlier. Um, it's just got a different vibe to it. So I, I appreciate that they took a little bit of a chance. And I appreciate it. So th I highly recommend you check out that one. Um, track number 11, Portals. Um, that one is also a heavier one. But I feel like it kind of lacks a little bit. Um, it's definitely towards the bottom in terms of in terms of the tracks obviously it kind of features a little bit more of Devin screaming which is is really good on the record um I feel like Zach had obviously a more unique scream to Devin's but again he's he's a solid screamer and I'm excited to see you know how they sound live because you know I'm interested to see how he's going to pull off uh dual vocal duties you know what I mean so I'm excited to see them for Warped, and hopefully I'll be able to catch their set, or at least a song or two. Um, but getting back to the review, um, probably not one of my favorites. Um, I, I just can't really put my finger on why it's not great. I just feel like in comparison to the rest of the tracks that I mentioned, um, it kind of just lacks originality to me. Um, it just didn't seem... Um, I, I don't know. It just didn't seem like a cool track to me. Um, but I definitely did like that, like, kind of break, like, breakdown, like, guitar glitchy track. I don't really know how to explain it, but, um, if you get into, I think it's, like, the two, like, it's definitely past the two-minute mark, um, but there's, like, a little bit of a break thing, like, a breakdown kind of thing, and I thought that was interesting. Um, I'd like to see if that would be utilized in, like, a future record, but, um, it's 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 not one of my favorites but you know i'm not gonna hate on it i definitely enjoyed it but it's it's not one of my favorites um and the last track is yellow king and i feel like they kind of you know ended off on a good note yellow king is another super a solid track i probably put it in the middle of the pack in terms of you know which tracks i thought were good um again um another solid track from that those guys um but Overall, um, if you're ex like I said earlier, overall, if you're expecting New Demons two, I'm sorry to break it to you, it's it's not happening. Um, they've kind of moved on from that. Obviously, it's been three years since their last record, and um, you know things have changed. You know it's their their musical taste tastes have changed, and I feel like they've kind of you know evolved a little bit, and um, definitely. You know, they're still they they haven't lost their roots. Uh, I will go with that. I will definitely say that. Um, but you know, there's just something different about this record. Um, I can't really put my finger on it. Obviously, you know, losing members is not a good thing. But um, I think they did pretty well considering that. Um, you know, again, they lost they lost Zach and they lost Jimmy on guitars, um, respective. Uh, obviously, um, but. It was a solid album. I'd probably give it like, you know, an eight or an eight and a half out of ten. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Um I I just feel like this is how you should go into the album. You should go into the album open minded. Um that's how I did it. Um as well as like just imagine if this was their first record, you know, ever released and just go into it with that type of mentality. I just feel like, you know, you'll get a lot more out of it than, you know, expecting New Demons to. Um, it, to me, I just feel like I've got, I got so much more enjoyment out of this record because I didn't think, oh, well, Zach's not in the band anymore. You know, it's not going to sound like New Demons. Like, I'm going to hate it. Um, I didn't, I originally thought I was going to go in and not like this record, but I wind up listening to it because... You know, I was like, listen, you got to come into an open mind and be like, you know, I'm going to listen to this record and, you know, I'm going to come out either saying I liked it or I didn't, you know, and I feel like if you're a musician, you always want to grow. You always want to put out, you know, the newest thing. You always want to like, you know, improve yourself as a band like you you get stagnant like if they've been making records for, you know, five studio records. So this is their fifth studio record. I mean, you know. 
how many more times are they going to do like breakdowns with like you know electronic parts to it you know i to me there is a sprinkling of you know metalcore post-hardcore kind of vibes to it but i also feel like they're kind of branching into more of the like alternative rock kind of you know place and i appreciate the growth that's just how i see it um if you can't appreciate you know an artist growing then you know i don't feel like this record would be for you um it's just is really a really good album for what cards they were dealt i feel like they came out with a really solid album and um i definitely think you should just at least give it a listen um and just let me know in the comments why you don't think it was that great or why you thought it was great. I'd just be curious to know, like, you know, why you didn't think it was great. I mean, I'm not saying, like, it's the best record I heard this year. But I'm definitely not saying that, you know, it's a bad record. I just feel like people don't take the time to really, like, listen to it. Like, they they already come in with misconceptions about the record before they even listen to it, you know. And... The tracks that they have out, the three singles that they have out now, don't really give a total glimpse of how the whole entire record is going to sound. So I highly recommend just at least giving it a listen, really, you know, putting some heart and some thought into it and just give it, give it a solid listen. That's just all I, all I ask, you know. Um, I think you'll get a lot more out of it if you really just sit down, really listen to it. Um, but again... I give it like an eight out eight or eight and a half out of ten. Um, solid record from these guys. Um, Luke Collin does an excellent job on the drums, and just you know the whole band in general did an awesome job, you know, just on this record. So you should really you know give them the time of day and try to just give it a l listen to. Um, but that pretty much concludes my review. Um, super excited to see them on Warp, like I mentioned earlier, and. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm really curious to un know and understand why people either hated it or loved it. You know what I mean? It's not for everyone, and I get that. But, you know, I just feel like if you're listening to this type of music, you should come into an open mind, especially for this band, considering that they lost, you know, two members. And they're two kind of key-ish members. So, um, yeah. So, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe. As well as, um, if you like these reviews and you like how it's laid out, awesome, give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. As well as, comment in the section below which, you know, records you'd like me to do. Obviously, you know, a lot of records this week are coming out. Like I said, Icy Stars, that's obviously why I'm doing the review for this. Hopefully I can get my hands on the Hail, Hail the Sun's new record um, soon because I'd love to do a review on that. I've, I've always loved that band, but... Let me know if any bands, you know, that are coming up in the next few months or like month or so, um, if you want me to do a review on it, cause, because I'd love to, you know, check out new music and see what's going on. So, um, again, this is Brandon from Audio Addiction, and um, I hope you guys have a good day. And please make sure to check out the live episodes. Um, we have a lot of fun, and we'd love to meet, you know, people like you who who love music just as much as I do and the rest of the guys do. So um, please give it a listen. Please give it a check out. That would be awesome, guys. And um, yeah, so that's it. Talk to you later, guys. See you later.